A very good evening and welcome to your live stream here on LOA TV. The Ryan McBride Brandywell Stadium hosts tonight's game between Derry City and St. Patrick's Athletic. Chris Forrester. I think he thought about the first time shot. Not on his favourite right foot. They're just finding a wee bit of space. Yeah, ball's played under the box. Oh, and it's a flashing header coming in. And they end up from Mason Melia. But it was straight in front of, Bri of uh, Brian Mart. That's half a chance, wasn't it? Yep. I think Patch is finding out we've got a space with there. I think they are struggling to come to terms with their, their shape at the moment. Um, Time for Derry to press the 10 men of St. Pat's at the moment. As Paul McMullen goes to the byline, gets his cross under the box, headed away. Adam O'Reilly back in, patching on the edge of the 18. Finds Doherty in a bit of space. Doherty wraps his left foot around it. Chance. And arriving yeah. late, it's Danny Mullen. And Danny Mullen accepts the cross and side foots it beyond Danny Rogers to open the scoring here at the Brandywell in the 16th minute. It's Derry City 1, St. Patrick's Athletic 0. Derry's first real chance, first real threat. You know, a ball from Paul, one side. It's going across the R side and lower. Good delivery from, uh, from Ben. Uh, excellent delivery. And he's found uh, Danny on Mark's side foot. Easy tap on, but. So Pats will be disappointed with that, and, and you know what? They've actually been, they've been a man down as well. They lost their captain. If he had been there, would he have been there? That's the thing. So uh, they'll be they'll be oh, they'll be devastated with that. But um, well taken goal, we Derry. Yeah, confirmation of the substitution. Ryan McLaughlin coming in for Joe Redmond. It looks like. McLaughlin will just drop in. Yeah. To so pick out Ryan McLaughlin on this right hand side. McLaughlin finds Forrester. Forrester looks up trying to pick out the pass. And Brian Maher comes and just plucks the ball out of the air and leaves Rory Keating trailing and he's must. Dangerous from Forrester. He tends to just drift in the wee pockets and off the back of shoulders of people and he's. It can be very dangerous if he's not picked up. Just yeah, certainly a bit more subdued at the moment, but Derry holding on to that 1-0 lead as Paul Mc McMullen. Oh, shouts of handball. But uh, there was an, an arm out, Sean. I think it, de it looked like it made contact, but whether or not it was... Uh, we'll see from uh, the replay. I'm not too sure where else he could actually put his arm, to be honest, but yeah. it, you know, there might have been a bit of contact there, all right. But McMullen goes to the violin. So Ben Doherty and Will Patching. Both over in the corner. It's taken short this time. Played to the age of the 18. Paul McMullen has time to look up. Time to pick out his shot. He was just leaning back at the wrong moment. And the ball goes over Danny Rogers' goal. And crossbar. Score remains Derry City 1. St. Pat's 0. He had found a yard for himself, Sean. He yeah. should have really done better. Yeah. Finds Keating. Kavna. Kavna again. Kieran Cole sticks out a leg. Kavna continues to run. Kavna with a flashing shot. Oh, and only for the outstretched palm of Brian Maher. That could have been St. Pat's 1 1 here. Yep. Patching, dictating things from the centre of the park for Derry City. Patching had continued his run. Patching to the edge of the 18 yard box, patching. Oh, it's a half chance. He's right well, footed. Yeah, I think he's just trying to wrap it under that yeah, top corner looking, shot. Yeah, he just couldn't quite get enough purchase on yeah, it. Yeah, he just doesn't shift it across his body enough to just for an opening. Yeah, patching. Just yeah, see. he just, just doesn't shift it across it enough. Danny Rogers comes out and punches cleanly. The follow up was from Ben Doherty and then Paul McMullen tried to follow that one up, but unfortunately for him, it goes wide. And of Danny Rogers is upright. The score remains Derry City 1, St. Pat's 0. You can see the ball was flashed in. Brandon Kavanagh closes out the attack. Doherty, Ben Doherty. Oh, he tried to get a left foot shot away, but Jake Mulroney took the full brunt of that on his heel. Play continues through Mark Conley, sells the dummy on the edge of the 18 yard box, gets his shot away, and yes, it's touched it's on that, eventually yeah. by Pat Hoobin. The St. Pat's players are appealing for the offside, but Hoobin gets his eighth goal of the season. 
having racked up one on Friday night. He has followed that up again tonight. He picked up a booking in the first half. But now he's picked up another goal to add to his tally this season. It's Derry City 2, St. Patrick's Athletic 0. They've started the second half very well. Forced a couple of corners. We had the change of passing. It's got them the corner in the first place, but... Well, Ben Doherty with the shot. And it was all credit to Mark Connolly. He sold the dummy there. They actually had a player on the line just there. So yeah, it, it, it know, couldn't have been offside. Yeah. So he's played him on. So I think it's Connor Keeley who yeah. was standing on the touchline to keep Bull, er, Pat Hoobin on side. We've got viewers from all around the country and all around the globe here on LOA TV. I sincerely hope you're enjoying what's on display and the commentary here tonight is Brandon Kiavna wraps a foot round it oh and it's been touched in as well I think it's Connor Keeley who got the last touch he's looking to get things back underway but uh, it came off him Bra uh, uh, I thought Brian Maher had got a, a touch to it he's, uh, I'm not too sure what's happened it's uh, just when you get your noses in front yep. you get that wee extra goal and you get sucker punched uh, that would be that's yeah, Connor Keeley who's accepting the plaudits. We should be able to get a. To be fair, the, their deliveries have been great all night, and there's another one. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's, just, he's just won the head. I'm not too sure who's been marking him, but. Arrived at the right time. Their, their deliveries from corners and free kicks all night has been very, very good, and uh, that one's paid off. And to the net. Patching again with the free kick. And the front post, yes. and it's been touched on. Well, I'm looking down and Danny Mullen, who we just spoke about, he's <laughs> accepting all the plaudits. Yeah. It just seemed to flash in front of goal. It's Derry City 3, St. Patrick's Athletic 1. Yeah, he's got across his... He's made a run, got across his marker, and he'll be glancing at the header, he's found the net with it. We should see from the replay. But John Daly will be absolutely furious yeah. that Derry City have scored again so quickly yeah, after just got they got pulled the goal back. Lot, he's made a run. Yeah, he does get a touch on yeah, it. I think like Cameron, Cameron McJanet, McJanet at yeah, the front. Cameron McJanet, yep. At the front of that pack had flicked it on, but Danny Mullen got the decisive touch. And in the 56th minute, Derry City extend their lead to 3-1. So they're they're yeah. trying to put pressure on the He's Derry back his last few right on the yeah. top. And it looks like a another exactly one. Exactly the same on it was Melia this yeah. time who got the header. It was a free header just right on the edge of the six-yard box. Another, it was an hour chance as well. It was a four to the yard. You can just see from the replay yeah Kavna's just been whooping those yeah, into the, the six excellent. yard box and Melia had just peeled away there oh. but does again does he need two up at the stage Palmer finds Forrester Forrester's got a yard and gets a shot away and it's come off the face of Brian Maher but he got down well to the left hand side yeah, to prevent good, the scoreline from extending to 3-2 Cleared away by Cameron McJanet. McMullen does well to keep it on play. But that's the last action of the evening. As Derry City run out 3-1 winners here at the Brandywell. But for me, Colin Green, I'll catch you again in a couple of weeks' time. Until then, it's finished at the Brandywell. Derry City 3, St. Patrick's Athletic 1. Good night, God bless, and I'll see you again soon.